please subscribe and share this video with your friends. Hi, I'm Randy Lee and welcome to a special edition of The Dating Den with Marnie Batista. Hello, hey. I love to say Randy Lee. Randy Lee. Randy. So Randy, yes. you are special to me because anyone who knows me knows that I'm sort of obsessed about The Bachelor. Oh. Okay, and I'm too old to ever freaking get a rose. Okay. And I got a rose from my guy. It's overrated. It's overrated. I got a real rose. Okay, yeah. Um, but this is really fun for me because I'm having my own Bachelor at moment by bringing men in here to possibly host the Jane Wow, thank It's you. really thank part you. of the mission. And I never got asked to prom, you know, I was, so this is like this that. Was, Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, let me tell you, I wasn't on for that long, but for the time I was on, I had a pretty good time. So it's uh, everything and, and anything you'd expect, it, it's, that's, that's what it is. It's, it's basically a reality show, but there's so much produ produced stuff behind it. That yeah, it's you not would, real. Yeah, it makes so, me cry a little bit. Yeah, so. So, and, and what we're gonna talk about today, because you really, you know, you are an expert. You're out there dating I, in the world. And you and I were talking, we were gonna do a topic, and then all of a sudden we started about texting. Yes. Oh, and we yeah. were both like, oh my God, yeah, I'm gonna be so mad. Just rambling <laughs> at each other. Right? So what we have for you ladies today is our list of texting do's and, and, and don'ts. don'ts. Okay. So number one, what do you do if a guy sends you a text message that is a little too fast, too soon, and it makes you feel really uncomfortable? What can you write back? Yes, this is one of my biggest pet peeves, especially like with pet names and yes. stuff. It's like too soon to call me honey or baby. Um, it's maybe like the second or you know third day right. we've met and you're already like, hey, honey, let's go out to dinner tonight. Right. Um, I think what you'd send back is basically, um, to me, it, it's 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 a turnoff, so I would never respond back with a honey or baby. Okay. All right. that, if you respond back like, oh, honey or baby, then they made it okay. That is okay. That's a really good point because yes. we were just talking to the hair and makeup gal here okay. who had this happen, okay. and he was being a little bit, and it was making her uncomfortable, but she didn't really address it. So then it escalated. So she didn't say anything. She didn't say anything. Okay. So now, so the so the message is, if you feel uncomfortable, you have to send that message back that sort of says. Hey, you know, I'm flattered that you're really into me right. and I want to tell you, you know, I'm feeling like this is moving a little fast for me and I can't wait to see you for our next date. Exactly. And then that, land okay that would be much better. Okay. And then even like, cause you get the, sometimes maybe the miss you too soon, but if you don't oh. want to hear the miss you, don't say, Oh, I miss you too. Right. Because that, that's, in, you know, you're implying, oh, okay, well. I love this. I forgot yeah. about that. Yes. Like, the miss, miss you. you. And you're like, oh, God, I don't miss you. Yeah, I don't miss you. So, <laughs> so don't, don't say you miss, you know, miss that person if you don't miss them. Because you, you feel obligated. Because, you know, you're a good person. You know, I feel like I'm a good person. You feel obligated to be like, oh, miss you too. Because just to be nice. But no. Don't. No, that don't is a bad do idea. it. Yeah. Okay. Now, here's the other thing. Um, Women constantly complain that men do not call. They sort of hide out in the text. Okay. So if you want your guy to call you, what can a woman text message or how can she let you know, please call me, don't just text me? Well, I like what you said before about, um, you know, basically letting them know you're thinking about them without right. saying, you know, too much. We're just, just saying, I'm thinking about you you know, in a text message, Okay. Um, that would gear me to be like, oh, that's cool. She's thinking about me. I, I definitely want to call that person back. Ah, okay. So you need to give them a little, like a little, yes, hint. A little yeah. hint. And can you, can I sort of tell people, you know, if, like you said, if you train them by responding to texts and having lengthy conversations, why would a guy pick up the phone? So you just need to keep it short and exactly. give him a reason to call you. Right, right. Okay. I love this. Now we talked about what I call the rule of thumb. Yes. I love this. Okay. I love so this. if you're a guy and you're like, this girl's kind of cool and then all of a sudden you get one of those text messages that goes <laughs> it's like takes up all of your phone and you gotta scroll down what happens through. for a guy like physically in your body when you get the text that is like this long as opposed to this long i meet it anger <laughs> <laughs> because i mean not you know like but it's just if you're gonna spend that much time to right. calculate your answer and that's kind of what i think it is too is like they're calculating what they're right. gonna say so they can say the perfect thing right then just call me because i'm not gonna sit there and respond to you okay you know, text messaging back with the same book that you have okay so pick up the phone do yes. not send the novel do if you want a guy to call you then return the favor yeah call the guy and don't don't text hey i really that's okay yes call. we have to fit real that quick, one in. real quick um <laughs> i hate it when a girl just texts or anybody texts hey Hey, just that. No response, that's it. 
So do so if you're looking for validation, if a guy likes you, don't send the message. Just hey, yeah. cross your fingers and hope he writes back. Right. Because you're not saying anything. Nothing. So the better way to do it is say, I'm thinking of you. Hope I you're like having that. a great day. Or yeah. ask a question. Never hey. Never hey. No. We end with never hey. <laughs> and hey, if you hey. <laughs> hey, I have a chinchilla named Jonathan okay. who eats hay. And so whenever I feed him. <laughs> I amuse myself by going, hey! <laughs> <laughs> well, Jonathan's allowed to text hey then. Exactly. If Chinchilla can text hey then, by all means. Absolutely. He's the one exception. Exactly. You can follow me on Twitter and see pictures of Jonathan always. <laughs> anyway, if you like Randy, say hey, hey. by clicking like um, or tweeting about him. And he possibly could be the next Dating Den co-host yes. with me for the year. So if you love Amazing. him, Help us choose him. And thank you for being here, Randy Lee. Thank, thank you for having me. One more time, my name. When you say it, I just love it. I know, Randy Lee. Oh, okay, bye. <laughs>